Montreal. Look at yourselves. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. You're out. You're out. You're doing something with your lives. Good for you. You're at a show. You're at a show. How many shows do you go to a year? Zero. You're at a show. Some of you are dressed for it. Some of you still think you're home, but you're out. I, my day was easy. My whole day today was trying not to eat nachos. That was my whole day. When I'm on the road, I, I want to eat nachos, and they're bad for me, and I should not eat them. And uh, I ate them. I ate them again. <laughs> Gas station nachos. Oh, back off. <laughs> Fancy Montreal restaurant attitude. You think a crack addict cares where the crack came from? No. I didn't start off that way. I didn't say I'm having nachos today. I woke up this morning and said, no, no nachos. And I'm not drinking either. That was another thing I said. And I will be drinking in about five minutes. No, but, that was, but that's morning Tom. I wake up, morning Tom, he's a very different guy than this guy. You, you would like morning Tom. Morning Tom's a winner. He's a winner. He gets stuff done. Wakes up, puts on workout clothes, returns emails. He's a winner. I make fruit smoothies in the morning. Fruit smoothies. Yeah, I get a blender. I put fruit in it and protein powder. Eee, stare down my weak family eating Fruit Loops. Eee, you're losers. You're all losers. All three of you, you're losers. Yeah, the five-year-old too, you're losers. You're looking at a winner. But we all are, right? In the morning, please, clear-eyed, focused. That's why I never hit on anyone in the morning. Never hit on anyone in the morning. You gotta wait till late at night when they're confused and tired. <laughs> and possibly make a very big mistake. Problem is, morning Tom doesn't last very long. He passes out around two. And the guy that wakes up in his place is a very different guy. He is not a winner. He is not a winner. He's an alcoholic, this is what he is. <laughs> he looks like morning Tom, but he's in cut off shorts and a shit happens t shirt. And he takes that same blender and he fills it up with margarita mix and tequila. <laughs> then you have one, then you're not stopping. Come on, then he comes at you. Who stops at one? You think Sinatra ever stopped at one? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm just like Sinatra without the songs or the money. I'm just like that guy. <laughs> and then three hours later, I'm just wandering around my house drunk with a menu in my hand. I wonder if this Chinese restaurant makes nachos, you think? Oh, how hard do you want to work? No, enough. I'm not working hard. I don't like people who work. I don't hang out with people who work that hard. And enough with the businesses trying to work so hard. Stop it. Stop trying so hard to be my friend. We're not dating. We're not dating. I deal with human beings. I don't date businesses. Every time I go to the pharmacy, do you have your card? Do you have your card? Do you have your membership card? No, for the 10th time this week, I don't. I don't have a card. You don't have a card? He doesn't have a card. He doesn't have a card. You've got to join us. Do you want to join us? People come out of the back, join us. <laughs> Stop trying so hard. Check into the hotel. Welcome back, Tom. What do you mean, welcome back? You don't know me. That's why I stay with you. You don't know me. I know people in town. I don't stay with them. They know me. This is our relationship. I come in late at night. I do weird stuff to your towels, and I leave in the morning. <laughs> Every restaurant that come bouncing up to the table now, you guys ever eaten here before? You guys know how it works here at the Outback Steakhouse? <laughs> Just lie, lie. Yeah, I've been here before. They leave and they get your drink. My wife likes to be honest. No, I've never been in one of these before. <laughs> What's gonna happen? <laughs> He's gonna do a show. He's gonna do a damn show. Well, let me tell you how it works here. We're a little crazy at the Outback Steakhouse. You think you've been eating your whole life, chewing and swallowing? That's not how we do it here. Ah. You order your appetizer, bring out a can, and we shoot it right in your face. Okay. They all have their own credit card now. Do you have your KFC MasterCard? What? Do you have your KFC MasterCard? No, I don't have a chicken credit card in my wallet. with a picture of a plantation owner on the side. Well, I could save you 15% of your purchase right now if you apply for a KFC MasterCard. Yeah, I'm sure the 25 people behind me wouldn't mind me filling out some paperwork and running a credit check during their lunch half hour. 
I don't care about 15% of $8. I don't care. I just want to take the chicken, sit in the parking lot by myself, eat it quickly before my wife comes out of the mall and sees I'm not following doctor's orders. Move it. But if you don't use the card, you're not going to get your points. Don't you want your points? If you use the points, you'll have status. <laughs> don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Doesn't matter what you join, how many points you have. There's no such thing as status. It doesn't exist. Don't fall for it. Doesn't matter where you sit on the plane. Doesn't matter what you drive, where you live. We're all exactly the same. A bunch of horrible animals running around in pants trying to keep ourselves busy, fighting the urge to mount each other and make smaller versions of ourselves. <laughs> the same. But they try and trick you, right? Flying here, okay, we're gonna board your flight now. No, no, not, every, not everybody, sit down, you animals. There's some special people here getting on this plane first because they've got status. We're gonna start off with our diamond-crusted, gold-plated, carbon-fiber-based, Teflon-coated, <laughs> premier elite access, super-duper douchebag flying guy club. <laughs> the whole place stands up. Everybody has it. How special is it? Everyone's leading with their ass out of my way. I'm getting on there first. <laughs> There's one guy in the other lane with a crooked leg and a cane. I have no status at all. And he walks funny, so they board him first anyway. Put him in that Hannibal Lecter cart and just shoot him down the aisle. <laughs> what the hell happens to those poor people? You never see him come off the plane. I think they just put them in cargo, get over the Grand Canyon. So long, Grandpa. <laughs> Thank you all so much. You guys were great. Thank you.